Dan opening day, Oshkosh 2021. It's been a long time, but uh, let's face it, you let off with a bang. You gave us a little bit of a glimpse of what was to come over the weekend. Tell us first about Vantage. Vantage is our new flight display system that's the beginning of a line of these, but the initial one is for the generation of Cirrus that have the original Avidine Integra display. So it's an upgrade to 12-inch screens and much more powerful processing capability. It has redundancy and a number of other capabilities. It's tightly integrated with our IFDs and our DFC90. It's going to be reasonably cost-effective, bigger than what it replaces all hybrid touch and so we think it'll be a really desirable upgrade for the Cirrus community and the beginning of a long line of products in the large flight display area for Avidine. What's your progression for advancing through the GA line? Well one of the things we'll find out this week is what people are going to be asking us for so we'll have I think we'll have more information on that but certainly since this installation is designed specifically for that Cirrus configuration, the next thing that a lot of people are going to want is something that fits in their 182 or like airplane. So I think we're going to see a lot of that. We certainly have that planned. We're also working with a number of the advanced air mobility guys on their specific configurations. So, you know, we've already got some other things in the works and we'll, we'll see what the priorities are based on uh, with the audience here. Secondarily, you're talking about bringing AI into the cockpit. Is this a, where we cue Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Terminator, or what's happening next? So we've started a project with a partner company in Switzerland named Adalian, whose focus is on building certifiable AI for aviation. And what we're bringing to the party really is the familiarity with the certification processes and installations and all the hardware-related stuff. And they're bringing the background in AI and, most importantly, the concepts behind how to certify a neural network. So this is really interesting. The applications for this AI are you know, limitless, and you can say that about lots of things, but they really are. We're, you know, the thing that we're showing here is how you can use it to show traffic, which sounds like, well, I got ADSB for that and so forth, but there's a lot of environments where there's non-cooperative traffic. Traffic could be generalized into, you know, in the helicopter environment, things like power lines or drones or birds or whatever. So it's a foundational technology that we're just starting to work on. I would say the, the biggest interest is not so much from GA, go fly a long mission, but it's really more from helicopter operators and it's from the advanced air mobility guys who are going to be flying around cities and all that kind of thing. Well, the traffic avoidance issue is certainly uh, an intriguing one. Where do you think you go next? We've demonstrated landing guidance. So there's some of the advanced air mobility guys who might be interested in, for example, putting down a, a little rug with a QR code on it and having the system fly in and land on it. So we have demonstrated being able to do this on runways, but it can be done on other things. It can be a guidance system because if it knows the terrain, it can figure out where it is. There's lots of really good applications on the ground for you know taxi and, and hazard avoidance. There's what we call internally the coyote problem. You can know what that is, right? The coyote on the runway problem, right? So lots of interesting places to go. Right now, though, our focus is on getting something that does anything through the certification authorities, because once we do that, then we can do lots of other functions. Dan Schwinn, boss at Avidine, thank you so much, and we'll look forward to seeing the rest of the week and what else you come up with. Thanks, Jim. It's good to see you in the flesh. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance.